Hi Aries, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your mid-August money and career tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general, so just take what resonates. But let's begin and keep it simple and pull from this new tarot deck I added to my collection. Okay. I'm here and getting clarification for Aries. Mid-August money and career. Okay, we have three here. Okay, the tower, the star, and the world. I did get a message um, right before recording that um, that it was the last straw. You might be really fed up with certain energies, an authority figure, it may be um, people you're living with, um, but I do sense that uh, things are changing for the better. You could be thinking back to a tower moment and ending within a financial investment or a uh, job situation, but I do sense for some it's time for a situation to be put to rest that isn't healthy for you in one way, shape, or form, even if there are certain other benefits. But I do sense that underneath it all, it's a second half of the month that reminds you of how strong you are from all you've been through. A reminder that the possibilities are endless for you at this time. Um, but it just feels like you uh, are needing to regain that strength or just remind oneself how strong you truly are before a new financial investment or a new job, however it works for you. Your connection to nature will feel quite relevant. And I do sense that you're just being pushed by spirit to focus on your wishes, your goals, or at least one big one, and a reminder that you're a star in the making. Things will startle you at certain points in the second half of the month, but it's nothing you can't handle um, or recover from. I do feel as if um, things are flowing in the right direction for you, but you have to be open to change and uh, adjustments, even go going down to something as uh, small uh, as your habits, okay, as far as consumption or just where you spend your money, um, needing to just be open to go with the flow, all right? But I do sense that it's the second half of the month where it reminds you your world is changing for the better, for the better. You're not the only sign, but I do sense that completion is a must at this time. Um, okay, they're saying you're a bald eagle, all right? Maybe the spiritual meaning of an eagle is coming into play, but I do sense that you, okay, I also was getting a message when I began the reading, um, making a difference, okay? And I didn't feel the need to mention at that time, but now they're drawing me to this star representing you and the other stars surrounding it. I feel as if you're building people up, helping them, or just, uh, it's probably part of your work, okay? Um, or you may feel as if you're just pushed to get your voice out there or think about how can I help more so through my work? Not a bad question to ask, but I do sense that you are, um, focusing on what isn't working a lot and that is helping you move towards change all right but you're also expecting the worst at certain points so we need to try to bring back a positive optimistic way of being and thinking um but i need to remember through um certain annoyances or just uh change once again what's not meant for you all right you may be pushed to reflect on a past financial investment that wasn't uh the right one for you and came to an end could be a job situation uh, the same way where it started came to an end it's you're being reminded of that by spirit in one way shape or form to prepare you for certain um, upcoming choices okay we need you to recognize what's meant for you I do sense that you're moving with passion though okay you're moving with passion you're allowing for oneself to recognize that you have uh, what it takes to charge forth towards more than you are dealing with at this time or have been up until uh, a certain point in the second half of the month, depending on your situation. But I do feel as if with the sun card, completion leads to happiness in your case, period. Okay, 420, look up that angel number meaning 420, where you don't fit in is meant to be, period. Okay, um, I do sense that you are just allowing for yourself to embrace what makes you feel more passionate you may sense that what you were once passionate about or some of which you're just not anymore it's because you're changing you're growing your wants and desires are changing hence why with the star card we're pushing you to reevaluate what you truly uh, see as a wish coming true moving forward okay or a dream come true and some of you may have some of which figured out 
but other storms of this reading don't and regardless of where you lie within um those options or those choices i do feel as if you are um pushed to embrace all that lies ahead okay um making you or pushing you to realize or to remember you have a lot of uh options a lot of choices a lot to decide once again as i see the seven of cups um but i do sense that you're pushed to remember where your happily ever after is and how that's going to benefit you greatly okay um, but tens talk about completion once again and how you're just desiring something different why are you feeling a bit emotional at certain points that may benefit your work or it may hinder it regardless of which it is there's a need to heal through it all okay or heal from it all okay i do feel as if you're being recognized though with the three of pentacles people are seeing you as somebody's going places and not afraid to just do what's right for them as i'm now seeing the nine of pentacles Take a deep breath. There's going to be moments where you feel the need to rant and rant. Um, it may be part of your work, but I just sense that you are impressive. Okay, you're impressive regardless. And I feel as if that impressive nature about you or even that take charge way of being about you in your own individual way uh, rubs certain people the wrong way. It, it's impressing them regardless. But I, you know how that can sometimes bring out certain insecurities within other people or just... Um, jealousy is the word that's coming to be okay uh yeah you're gonna have to have patience at certain points when it comes to certain behaviors um, certain disturbances delays annoyances allow for yourself to just take a deep breath and step away from what isn't working for you in that moment or is annoying you uh pushing you to your boiling point potentially because i do feel you will thank oneself when you come back more calm cool and collected but I sense that some of you are thinking about your spiritual connection, could be a spiritual worker, um, spirituality wrapped up into your work. I feel that there is a true spiritual guidance looking after you at this time, all right? So don't fret what lies ahead, as I do feel like you are, um, yeah, a little bit emotional, but just uh, wanting to take charge even more so and just see things unravel in the way they're meant to, and they will money will increase is now what i'm hearing um i do feel like you're just reminded everything happens for a reason everything okay but there's also again this reminder um okay where you want to travel or what you want to experience uh, regardless putting financial um concerns aside uh it just feels like you're being reminded the world your world is in your hands okay um, conquering is now the word I'm getting overcoming mountains moving forward with the experience and knowledge you've gained up until this point and I really do feel like you are going to see more and more career success following the second half of the month but you need to um, make a few adjustments once again okay for some it's more so one big one but it may lead to other smaller ones okay um, the happiness you do experience I feel will be um, more so outside of work um, but I feel like some of you are just seeing multiple areas of your life transforming before your very eyes but it's not a bad thing okay it's it's leading you towards more of what you're meant for okay more of what you're meant for bear with me as I forgot to take my airpods off but I do sense that there is moments where you're doing so much throughout the month uh, the whole month in general I feel that you forget about this or you forget about that or you forgot you had to accomplish this try to write things down try to prioritize in one's mind um, and remember you don't always have to multitask okay you can just get one thing done and then make your way to the next it's this vibe that you almost want more time in one day than you actually have or more, one week uh, you name it um, don't think that time is running out Everything's going to happen when it's meant to, and that's just a fact, okay? In a bigger sense, in a smaller sense, and I do feel like energy is affecting you throughout the second half of the month. People in your living situation and or your job location, it could be intertwined for you. I sense that some of you are just thinking about wanting nicer clothing or expanding your collection in one way, shape, or form, even if that's not your clothing. Um, you will have the moments moving forward to purchase what you need to. will guide you to those items. But don't allow for oneself to overspend in the second half of the month as it will benefit you for the change or changes that are 
being implemented at this time and moving forward, all right? You will be successful is now what I'm hearing, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light, and I will see you next time. Bye, Aries.